we are the Catalan independentist resistance, and you are listening to a new update from Radio Hadrian in Free Catalonia. I am a citizen of the world. That is why I'll do all I can to help Catalonia declare independence. This is David Rabantos, this is chapter 50 in Radio Adrian, this project that it's possible only thanks to KA Radio, the voice of new music, and Cheryl Scott and Delia Forrest. We are very happy in Directa 68 from the way our website has been received. And uh, you can join us at three W's dot Directa 68.cat. And we're also very happy that the conference we did we still two years ago I was still doing a hunger strike. Uh, two days from today is the day they uh, kidnapped me and started chemical torture. So the conference we did uh, 12, uh, 12 days ago to mark uh, the beginning of the hunger strike two years ago has already been seen by more than 12,000 people just in Facebook. And uh, that means that the, the truth will come out because when 12,000 people have had contact to the persecution that fake pro the people uh, did on me, it's impossible that the peaceful revolution won't start. This program we uh, want to do special and we thank uh, KA for the effort of putting us on air outside the normal days and the basic things are Kim Torra has been nominated the 131st uh, president of Catalonia we already debunked him we uh, deconstructed him uh, in our regular program number 49 two days ago but we need to say a few more things about it then we'll talk about the genocide uh, Federico Jiménez Los Santos, which has been uh, asking the Spanish government to bomb Catalonia. And this is a crime against humanity, and we need the whole world to know what goes on in Spain. Then something which has the Scottish approach. We've had, we've had to suffer a brainwashing uh, uh, genocidal of the brains uh, interview in Catalan television with Scottish lawyer Amer Anwar, which uh, we need to, which has been spread by moles in the in the Catalan process uh, to a nauseating point. And then we'll talk about several uh, more things about people in Catalonia and some things that are relevant here. As I say, they kept us uh, guessing till the last second because the the splinter group that only has four seats out of 135 in the Catalan Parliament, CUP, CUP, which has received support from uh, anti-Catalan molds, Joan Vives and Sule Vicens, uh, and and his uh, clique. Um, was uh, taking the decision Sunday. There was uh, Kim Torra wasn't appointed in the first round on Saturday, and then 70 people running this coup like they did two years ago to put uh, Puigdemont without the people of Catalonia choosing it. Now they've repeated the same trick with uh, Kim Torra. So, uh, as we know, Spain controls the whole script. So now it's not a matter to be happy or not a matter to be sad because this is part of the Truman Show. So Spain, until the moment where Director 68 will have a majority to change things, uh, everything is a Spanish script. And uh, Artur Mas, Carles Puigdemont, and now Kim Torra are more Spanish one than the other. So more pro-Spanish more than the other. So the important thing is not that. The important thing is that this Kim Torra had uh, made uh, xenophobic uh, tweets, uh, xenophobic tweets that he didn't erase till few hours before he was appointed. 
And then again, we don't believe we have the dumbest uh, politicians and we cannot believe that, again, Carlos Puigdemont has broken the world record being the dumber uh, politician of all times. He chooses uh, Kim Torra, which was number 11 in the list. Nobody voted for him. And then he goes and chooses somebody who's being easily attacked by Ciudadanos, easily attacked by unionist newspapers in Barcelona and Spain. Uh, we don't believe that they always make the worst choice possible. That that That's impossible. So they've, when you realize that they put pressure and they let it be thought, and we had it straight from the cow's mouth, from the horse's mouth, or <laughs> any animal's mouth. Juan Bibes told me he wanted new elections, snap elections, and his former girlfriend and now leader of the ANC was also saying that if Puigdemont was not the selected one, new elections were okay. And Bernat de Dewan and Rick Villa, which also have to be uh, part-time journalists, part-time malls, were pushing for new elections. So it seems that the Catalan resistance is already making them dedicate lots of efforts because they've been trying to distract us. Possibly they were trying us to say, oh, for sure, Coop is going to call elections. And uh, they were trying us to, to be fooled, but it didn't work because we knew that Spain was uh, holding all all the horses in this race. But what is uh, relevant here is that it seems that Spain has preferred to have a lame government that they can knock off any minute they want, and it seems that that's their preferred choice. And when you realize that it's somebody who's that easy to attack, because still that knows seems to have launched an international campaign uh, to call the new president Nazi and uh, the typical things they call Catalans. It shows that uh, Spain has preferred to put this stooge, uh, the stooge of uh, Carla Mon uh, Puigdemont, who's already stooge, so it's second generation stooge, or third generation if you include Artur Mas, which is getting stooges appointed by the previous stooge, and they call that democracy. So that's relevant. This other, this guy, Kim Torra, on top of that, has said that in Catalonia we're suffering a humanitarian crisis. And one thing we should not be is ridiculous. I mean, humanitarian crisis is like in Yemen or in Syria or in lots of other places in our planet. So in Barcelona, we're suffering pressure from Spain and violence and things that we are going to put an end to, but not a humanitarian crisis. The other thing relevant to this is that the people from Coop announcing that they were going to abstain, which made it possible for Kim Torra to be elected, is none other than Luc Salellas. This Luc Salellas is an accomplice to my torture and kidnap because when I had an open regime and I was having coffee with Delia in Plaza Oscar in a Sans must have been. I I saw him in a table having a coffee there very nicely. They're they're anti system but they enjoy they enjoy life. Okay. I was there fighting against the system and for independence, doing a hunger strike, and I was being tortured, and there he was having a nice coffee in a terrace, enjoying life, and I told him what was going on with me for having started a hunger strike for independence and what was going on with me and he ignored me he did nothing about it so he is a direct accomplice so please nobody out there think that coop is nothing else than uh, working for spain dressed dressed and um, disguised as pro indie people so that's what we have we have a traitor president as we explained two days ago that has been put there by Spain, that has decided to have a very weak president. And the only way to be helpful to independence is to join Directa 68, and then together we'll make independence. But we always hear in Radio Adrian, we're trying to give a different approach, because the things we're saying in this program... Uh, this program is the only one that's going to let Catalan people know about these things, about Kim Torra, or about other things we're going to say. Another relevant thing that 
it's you need to know is that we have a journalist here or pff, calling him a journalist is an offense to people who are real journalists but they are in short supply in uh, in Catalonia nowadays that's why we want to make a call to everybody uh, everybody out there who's a journalist uh, or studies journalism everywhere in the world we need you to help make us this program relevant in changing history in Catalonia and then starting a butterfly uh, effect to change the world. We need to investigate people because nobody is investigating things. Every media in Catalonia is against the Catalan people. So they not only not investigate, but they hide the truth about every relevant thing. The thing we're talking about, this Federico Jiménez Los Santos, he was a high school professor. He's, he signed a manifesto called El Manifesto de los 2300, the 2300 Manifesto, in the beginning of the 80s. That's when the, the small uh, armed band Terra Lliura uh, kidnapped him and shot him in the leg. We, um, we oppose violence, we're going to declare independence peacefully, but we know that Terra Lliura was... Uh, trained by ETA and we know that ETA was part of the operation of NATO so that me that makes Terra Lliura a NATO uh, stooge as well so looking at it now this guy went on to be a genocidal against Catalan journalists and lived a good life so when you look at it with perspective it all seems as it might have been a setup or a, a show the whole the whole thing I don't doubt he was shot but if that was his ticket to stardom and to a nice life and to fame it doesn't seem outlandish to think that all was part of a plan to create that uh, shield that the Spanish government shield and to put him in a position now he he's been in radio he has his own uh, radio and digital uh, group now with another guy called Cesar Vidal and this guy has already had to pay four different times uh, for slandering people, a total of more than 200,000 uh, euros. The relevant thing is that one month ago, or some weeks ago, when Carlos Puigdemont was um, not extradited by Germany, he said that uh, attacks on... Uh, uh, Bavarian beer houses should happen and that the 200,000 German people in Mallorca in Balearic Islands should be kept as hostages and we said if this is for real he has to stand before German court before the end of month well it hasn't happened because it's all it's all a show it's too much monkey business Germany Spain Catalan leaders European Union all these parts of the same new world order, they all play together. All the powers that be are together in every country in the world. And they play against 7,500 million people that we stand together in this. But the worst thing is that this, this week the guy has said that, of course, government, because Kim Torra said, well, they cannot bomb us now. And he said, but of course we can bomb them. And if it wasn't because the Spanish government is cow are cowards, we would uh, bomb them. This guy is calling for genocide of the Catalans. And I make a solemn uh, commitment here that if, have, if I have anything to do with the people running Catalonia once we declare independence, obtaining a majority, then we are going to ask extradition on, uh, on uh, genocidal... Uh, crimes on this Federico Jiménez Los Santos because the only way that he can be called is when we win in Catalonia and we demand this tradition but even so it's gonna sound weird I never thought I would have to thank him but the important thing and that shows how everything you're seeing out there in Scotland out there in the world everything we see in Catalonia in mainstream media or any media uh, except Radio Hadrian is a complete farce. The politicians in prison are actors. We know that it's the same case from big guys in the Basque uh, 
freedom movement have been in prison but they were not really in prison they are infiltrators and we've learned that recently from sources of the of the Basque resistance um, the question is he has been <laughs> advancing what Spain should do and he has got it right every time he said Spain should put economic pressure and they did they should put legal pressure and they did but the thing that tells the tale or that gives the game away is that he said and Spain should apply article 155 and the magic of it in that sentence that had been reproduced by Catalan public radio so if now they come back saying oh but he said differently well I hope that the records from the Catalan public radio won't disappear one day to the other as some photographs of Carlos Puigdemont with Stephen Bergen already have this guy said and it's a bit technical but we've spoken about this before if Catalan independence was a serious thing the article applied in the Spanish Constitution would be 116 which is state of alarm and siege which means uh, um, army on the streets and you have to be home by a certain time and no right of reunion and demonstration exists anymore they're suspended and this guy this guy that wants to bomb Barcelona which should be asking the government to use 116 or worse he gives the game away by asking government to apply 155 155 is a very watered down article it's the one they are using to pretend that the independence game is a real game but it's not so um, that gives the game away so everything is a farce uh, independence will only come from uh, Directa 68 when we declare independence and then we'll ask extradition of Federico Jiménez Los Santos so he can face charges for uh, apology, uh, apologizing or speaking for the genocide of the Catalans that's our commitment the other big story the other big fake story doing the rounds in Catalonia is very uh, strongly related to Scotland because people listening to us we are always say we talk to an adult uh, following know that every media in Catalonia is run by our enemies and so are social media and so are newspapers and so is everything so when we noticed that newspapers were already announcing that Amer Anwar was going to be in a very long program that they invented recently to brainwash uh, it's called frequently asked questions in Catalan television when we saw he was appearing there we knew what we were on what was going to happen and then he well you know Amer Anwar he's I don't know the word in English rector of the University of Glasgow he's following none other than uh, none other than um, the the Edward Snowden the new world order mole so it sets a pattern he's been related or he's been in the logger B case or he's in the logger B case which you know it's a false flag and one relevant thing to us is that he has been covering the 11th of September false flag and that having been in Lockerbie and it doesn't matter if he seems to be in the side of justice because we know how they do that I would really would like to talk with the family of Al Magrahi because they're possibly being set up or maybe it's the way they're gonna get money to pay for their silence but the fact that Ahmed Anwar is related to the case of Magrahi and Lockerbie doesn't seem right uh, as I say, Ahmed Anwar made a conflictive, uh, made a, a controversial statement saying that uh, the the bombers bombing countries in the world uh, from from Western countries are on the same level as the hijackers that smashed planes against the twin towers in the 11th of September, and that is a way to lie in favor of the new world order pretending to do the contrary we know that they lie uh, using the truth lots of times because as Amer Anwar 
knows or has an obligation to know. There were no planes at all the 11th of September 2001. Anybody who has investigated in it, anybody who's seen September clues knows there were no planes. It was missiles with controlled demolition. And uh, somebody uh, saying, somebody talking about hijacked planes can only be an agent of secret services, MI5, MI6, or any any of those. We already unmasked, not only that, I mean, we have somebody related to Lockerbie, somebody related with 9-11 to cover the tracks. And then he happens to be, as we, we he's the lawyer of Clara Ponsati, that's the official reason why he was in TV3. The real reason is to brainwash Catalans. And... Um, we debunked Clara Ponsati, I think, in Chapter 5, when she was uh, ushered in as member of Catalan government. We said without her, and we told about her in Chapter 5, I think it was. And in the chapters 9 to 13, must have been, we mentioned in one of them how Amer Anwar was uh, an actor covering the false flag in the attacks of Ramla's 17th of August. He happened to be there because he happened to have a conference, a lecture, two days after that, with none other than Moll and the wife now of Joan Vives and Sulevicens, Anarche. Well, so we already have Lockerbie, and we already have 9-11, and now we already have Barcelona. That makes three. And then he is related to the Scottish uh, false flag uh, referendum of 2014, because he's saying that it was a fair referendum and that Catalan should have a referendum like that. And he is related to a fifth false flag or uh, setup, which is the Catalan process, which is run by most like himself. And being a friend of Top Mo Anarchy. So, I mean, to anybody whose brain has not been damaged too long for that destructive drug that is television or newspapers or radio. It's obvious that Amr Anwar is a globalist, is a new world order mole. And then they give him this top spot, 43 minutes to brainwash people. And there he supports uh, traitors like Ponsati or Trapero, the head of the Catalan police, tells us that we should do a referendum like the Scottish one. And he does very cheap attacks that everybody's going to buy. And that's the sadness of it. When you go attacking Franco and comparing uh, the way Spain behaves with Hitler and you say that it's not, the rule of law is not applied there, the unawakened majority is going to applaud that. It's so sad. We are like Pavlovian dogs, not all of us, but most of us. So when you attack, when you attack Franco and compare him to Hitler and all these things that are true, People start watering their mouths like Pavlovian dogs. And we have to reverse that. Declaring independence only takes one minute. The difficult part is to deprogram, is to reformat the brains of millions of Catalans who've been suffering this brainwashing from media since they're born, since we are born. But some of us have escaped. Plato's cave. So he was there, and then they do, they put a very dumb pro union journalist. So Amer Anwar comes out uh, victory, and he says that half the Catalans that won independence cannot be treated like that, which is brainwashing because we are majority, not half. And to finish it off, he talks about Barça, how he loves Barça. Well, it's not only that people have all the teams in Catalonia and it should be offensive that I, I am a Barca fan myself, so. But there's some dignity that should be applied. But he lies. He says that if violence had been applied in Scotland, Nicola Sturgeon would declare independence the next day, which is another big lie because he knows very well that Nicola Sturgeon is a mole like himself to avoid independence while pretends that she wants it. Mark my words, Nicola Sturgeon will sooner, would rather die than declare independence. Because independence of Scotland will come with the unveiling of the gigantic operation to infiltrate everything, not only in Scotland, not only in Catalonia, but also in Euskal Herria, Basque Country, and in Ireland. All these movements, and I suspect 
other movements. And two days ago, we spoke about Puerto Rico, where things are going a bit weird as well. Every uh, independence movement that happens to want independence from a NATO country is doomed to be infiltrated to the top. So, but not only that, after that, known moles very active in social media like Mark Serra Pares and hundreds of fake profiles started spreading this nauseating interview with Amer Anwar, which is a brainwashing thing. Every, every, everywhere you looked in Facebook, everywhere you look in Twitter, you couldn't escape this brainwash, this New World Order interview with Amar Anwar. And not only that, but then the two uh, pamphlets, two digital pamphlets we have already talked about, Al Nacional, the same name as The National, curious, both very recent, and Vila Web from The Enemy of Catalonia that works for Spain, Vicent Partal, and very close friend of former president Carlos Puigdemont, we're spreading the video so everybody now has been brainwashed with the idea that we need to negotiate and get a Scottish style referendum. And that's as we have announced so many times, that's the plans of the new world order to murder independence. We have uh, found a few more things here. Uh, we the the guy running uh, um, Catalan television uh, news is a guy we asked help already six years ago with my companion this project Ramon Carnet to help us uncover moles and he never answered. Of course, he's a mole himself. But the sad the saddest of the things, well, apart from the fact that he has been in my Facebook for years, I offered him the possibility to speak with me before this program was done. He has neglected, he has not taken the opportunity. It's hard, he's been on my Facebook for years. The guy who, who is the most relevant in information knows that I have been kidnapped and tortured and he hasn't bat an eyelid, batted an eyelid. But the worst, the worst, and that shows, and as I mentioned in uh, Chris Everett show last week, we have a tremendous case of pyromanics joining the fire brigade. This guy who has done nothing, this guy who's brainwashing people from TV3, this guy that we went to ask help six years ago, well, it couldn't be worse than what I'm going to say. This guy is part of a group called uh, Barnils Group. Barnils, Ramon Barnils was a decent journalist that we missed. We miss. He died several years ago. Well, this group prides himself on talking about the silence thing, the censored things. They choose 10 histories every year to come out and comment. So this thing I was saying that this guy, David Baza, who now runs the information services in Catalan television, has been for five years since 2011 to 2016, which includes 2012, when we visited him to talk about these things. And all the years he's been there and he is actually a censor pretending to unveil censorship. It couldn't be more disgusting, but that's the way the world is. You have censors passing as free thinkers that want to unveil censorship. It's been a pleasure to be with you on Tuesday this time. And as we always say, and it's happening, and the growth in our numbers shows it, we are winning this. Help us win in Catalonia, and then we'll help. Scotland, but not only Scotland, or Ireland, or Euskal Herria, humbly, from a distance, but we need friends, we need, it's all the same fight, and we need to be together on this. We're winning, we're gonna win this. Saur, Aluba, Gubraz, Bisca Catalunya Lliura. This has been another update from the Catalan Independentist Resistance, from Radio Hadrian. Remember that you can follow us on social media, either on Facebook, YouTube, our Twitter account, Instagram, Google, Telegram, and also on Evox. Music